Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi. Today, doing a video from my living room ah, with a beautiful golden mug of coffee. And yes, of course, a Bitcoin beautiful teaspoon. Uh, maybe you should do it like this so you see it like not like mirrored or this i don't know guys in today's video i'm going to keep it short because i really didn't want to make a video because i want to go live later this afternoon but something came up so i will probably not be able to do a live so i will do a short video this morning five subjects again amazing bitcoin charts a trading tip some travel tip live advice answering one of the questions and talking about the news let's quickly jump into the charts to show you exactly what is happening to bitcoin well i'll take another zip of my coffee mm. the first chart for today guys is not a four hour chart today today we are starting with a 15 minute chart why because a lot of people are asking me, did he do those indicators also work on the 15 minute chart? Yes, they also work on the 15 minute chart. They work on any asset, they work on any market, they work on any time frame, guys. And you can find those indicators on the bitcoinfamily.com website. When you become a VIP member, you will get access to the indicator setup, etc. The educational videos, courses, all of that stuff, guys, if you got, become a VIP. Now, to give you an overview of how it works on a 15 minute. Like I told you yesterday, not every call is gonna be a profit, but most of them are. Just let's take a look at the last uh, day, for example, over here. This was a buy signal over there. Candle was closing above the yellow stepping line. We can see that because the candle is purple. The blue line is above that white line. The green line is on top over there. We can see the green starting, the blue decreasing. Beautiful trade, bam. Selling at that sell signal or whenever we cross down below yellow stepping line. Normally our strategy is to not sell at the sell signal, but when a candle closes down below the stepping line. There was no candle closing down below the stepping line, so you could even still have been in this trade all the way here, up, down, all the way to that moment. Then the profit would have been bigger. If you missed this entry over there, you could have entered in this part of the trade. Same, same system. The candle is closing above the yellow stepping line, purple candle, blue line is above that white line, the green line is on top, and there is a shitload of green there, so that would be a perfect entry for another profit, sell. If you want to short the market, you can short whenever there's a sell signal and a candle closing down below the stepping line, the blue line down below the white line, and the blue and the yellow being there, and the red line on top, that's a perfect combination to do a short. Again, next buy signal over there. Candle is closing above the yellow stepping line over there. Then we have a huge run. Or we sell at the sell signal, or we wait for a candle to close down the step line over there, still a huge profit. Then again, another buy signal, another candle closing down the stepping line, another profit. Here, this buy signal, candles above the stepping line over there, you'll be selling with a loss. Now there is a buy signal, but we don't have a candle above the stepping line, we don't have the white line curling up and we don't have the blue line above it and we have a shit of the blue in the bottom so that's a no-go that's how simple the system works now let's jump into some more interesting charts for today this is the first one this is the bitcoin price history in lock scale it's amazing to see how every time the elections are correlated with a beautiful bitcoin pump 2012 obama won look what happened bam massive run in bitcoin 2016, Trump won, look what happened. Bam, massive run in Bitcoin. 2020, Biden won, look what happened. Bam, massive run in Bitcoin. Of course, this all has to do with the four-year cycle and the elections always taking place in the year that the halving takes place. Yes, of course. But that election year always gives another push to the Bitcoin price, to all the stock markets and everything else because a shitload of liquidity is flowing into the market. Extra liquidity. Here again, we had the halving. 2024 elections will be there at the end of the year. I expect again a huge run after that. And that's how we created top in 2025. Cool chart. Then we have this one. Another beautiful indicator to indicate when the top of the market is in. So consider this as well as a trading tip for today. The Meyer multiple, the Bitcoin price divided by 200 day moving average, the higher the number is, the bigger the bubble is. When the number goes here above 2.4, we know 
we are near a bull market top. When the number comes near that line, 2.4, we know we are topping out. Here again, we went above it, that was a bull market top. We have not been near that line yet. We are at the level of 1.27. We still need to go up massively to reach this level of 2.4. This means the Bitcoin price will need to go up tremendously to be able to say, ha, we are topping out. Look in the last 200 days here, that's what we see. We went from like 30K to 60K again, that's this move. Now just imagine every time when we do these moves over here, and then pull back a little bit here, and we pull back a bit, then we go into the second part above that line. We pull back a little bit, we go to the second part. We pull back a little bit, we go to the second part. We just pull back. We are going to go now into that second part. It's going to go and take that Meyer multiple above that 2.4 level or against that 2.4 level. That means that the Bitcoin price can easily double, guys, easily from 70K to 120 or 150K. Easily, in my opinion. Beautiful chart. And then we have the most simplified chart that shows you you should be in Bitcoin instead of fiat currencies. The bottom was $2, the top was $32. The next top was $1,200, the next bottom was $150. The next top was $20K, the next bottom was $3K. The next top was $70K, the next bottom was $16K. The next top will be around $150K, the next bottom will be above $50,000 US dollar in my opinion. Just look what Bitcoin will do to your capital. The tops are increasing every four-year cycle. The bottoms are also increasing every four-year cycle. As long as this is happening, because there will only be 21 million Bitcoins and the demand is growing tremendously, these four-year tops will be higher and the four-year bottoms will be higher. Just start to understand this in Bitcoin and you will be able to multiply your capital every four year cycle. I hope you really enjoyed those charts guys, short term volatility that is there for our traders so you can trade and make some profits. I opened the trade yesterday so I hope this weekend we have a beautiful volatile weekend to 71k somewhere and then maybe pull back again to that CME gap on Sunday evening. Long term guys, did you enjoy those beautiful simplified charts? Yes. The tops are higher each four-year cycle. The bottoms are higher each four-year cycle. And every year when there are elections, we see a massive pump in the price. Because with those elections, probably the money printer will start printing again. And that puts more money into the system. And that this more money into the system will flow into Bitcoin. And that will make the Bitcoin price increase. Now, let's jump into the trading tip for today. As I couldn't find a real trading tip for today, I, the trading for today is please keep your eyes on those spot ETFs. At the moment, BlackRock is. <clears throat> at the moment, BlackRock took over the number one position from Grayscale. You all know that Grayscale had 600,000 bitcoins in the beginning. Now they have 287,000 bitcoins left. BlackRock by now owns 288,000 bitcoins. So you can see on this image there is a cross. BlackRock is taking over. So that means for me two things. One, the people are dumping their Bitcoin spot ETFs at grayscale because the fees are too high, but the same people are also buying up these spot ETF Bitcoins again at BlackRock. So while grayscale is MTM, BlackRock is increasing. So that means that's not new inflows. That's probably all people that are selling their spot ETFs at Grayscale and buying back or at BlackRock or any of the other spot ETF companies. The moment Grayscale is completely empty, that is the moment we will really see how much new inflows there will be in the spot ETF industry. By now, of course, there has already been a huge inflow of a million bitcoins in total that's owned by all the spot ETFs. But just imagine that we wouldn't have the selling pressure of the grayscale spot ETF bitcoins, then maybe by now they would have owned already 1.5 or 1.6 million bitcoins in total. So there is a share of more volume and liquidity coming to the market because of these spot ETFs, so always keep an eye on them. That's my trading tip for today. The travel tip for today, guys, keep it simple. Just travel. Traveling gives you a shitload of energy, makes you meet new friends, 
gives you new experiences in life. It will have you taste all kinds of foods all over the world. Travel gives you a huge network. And like the people say always, your network is your net worth. It's way more important to discover new people, new countries, new customs, new religions, new whatever it is, than running that hamster wheel 24-7 every time again and again. Because your network, aside of your social media network, will not be growing, you know? Running that hamster wheel, pretending to be working for your boss, but while doing that, just sitting on Facebook and Instagram, doesn't really grow your network. That's like your online network. The real net worth of your network is in physical context. And you will have way more physical contacts by traveling all over the world. You will meet new friends, new people, new business partners. You will get way more opportunities. You will get way more energy out of life. You are really living the life that you want to live at that moment. Without any people telling you what to do, how to act, how to be, you will finally find yourself the person that you really are. Because the moment you're running that hamster wheel, you're listening to your friends, you're listening to your family, you're listening to your boss, you're listening to the news, you're listening to all the media that tells you what kind of person you should be to be successful or to be liked or to be loved. The moment you start traveling and expose yourself to new adventures, to new people, to new situations, to new dangers, to everything that is new, that is the moment you will really learn who you are. That's the moment you really will understand what your strengths are and what your weaknesses are. You won't find those strengths and weaknesses just by running that hamster wheel. You need to sometimes test yourself and there is no bigger test than just traveling all over the world into new situations, meeting new people, new customs, new religions, other norms and values, and then adapt to all of that. That is how you learn what kind of person you are. That is how you become that new version of yourself that you really want to be. Like if you really look deep inside of yourself, there is an other person that you probably want to be. If not, you're happy, all good. Don't feel offended. If you're completely feeling normal, perfect. You're also very welcome to be a follower of this channel because of all the other information. But I understood from all my DMs and messages and everything and the emails that there is a lot of people stuck. And I just try to give a little bit helpful tools in travel tips and answering the questions to get you out of that stuck situation, to find the real you. And traveling is one of the things that helped me tremendously. So my travel tip for today is just travel. Hmm. While I drink a little bit more of coffee, um, I'm going to answer one of the questions of one of the followers, of course. The question was, Didi, don't you think that exchanging your bitcoins into USD stable coins in the top of 2025 will be very dangerous because of devaluation of the US dollar. Don't you think that Bitcoin will outperform the devaluation of that dollar? I completely agree with you. There is three years of a four-year cycle that Bitcoin will be outperforming the devaluation of the dollar or the euro. But there is one year every four-year cycle that Bitcoin is not outperforming the dollar. And that is the bearish year. That's 12 months of bearish moves for Bitcoin. And at that moment, Bitcoin in history crashed 60 to 80% in those 12 months. So let's say that the next Bitcoin crash will only be 60%, but that crash is still bigger than the devaluation of the US dollar. Because the US dollar or the euro will probably in those 12 months maybe devaluate with like 6 to 12%. So at that moment, it's very smart to just exchange your Bitcoins around the top into one of these stable coins or into gold if you want, don't forget, you can also exchange into gold, then wait for 12 months for that bear market because we will see a crash. And even if that crash is only 50%, it is a crash. If the crash is 50%, you will be able to buy the double amount of Bitcoins back at that bottom, guys. And there where you buy it at the bottom, that's where you make your profits. You don't only make profits by selling around that top. The biggest part of the profits that you can make is buying near that bottom. And to be able to buy near that bottom, the first couple of cycles, when you go all in, you need to exchange your Bitcoins to stablecoins at the top to be able to buy more Bitcoins back near that bottom. And that is why I'm doing it. So, and yes, I do understand what you're saying. Won't the dollar crash too hard for Bitcoin? In those 12 months, the bear market, Bitcoin will crash harder than the dollar, also harder than gold. But in those other three years, that 36 months, Bitcoin will be outperforming those. So when Bitcoin is outperforming the dollar or gold, you need to be in Bitcoin. 
and the moment Bitcoin is underperforming gold or the dollar or the euro, you need to be in euro or dollar or gold. Simple as that. The news for today, guys, is that every day, 1,500 new Bitcoin millionaires are being added to this industry. There is research from Kiko that found now that there is 1,500 new Bitcoin wallets every day that own more than a million dollar worth of Bitcoin. So every day we have 1,500 more millionaires in this industry. These are crazy cool numbers. Just imagine in your village every day, 1,500 people more become a millionaire just because of Bitcoin. And only because of that, you will get mouse to mouse to mouse to mouse promotion. Why? Because if there's 1,500 people per day being added to become millionaires, those people will speak around. Those people will start to spend. Those people start to live a different life. They start to work less and enjoy more. And all the people around those people will be affected. They will be like, what are you doing? How do you do that? How can you be living that life? And their only answer will be Bitcoin. And then they will be like, eh, how do you do this? Exchange your capital into Bitcoin. Start to trade Bitcoin. Start to multiply your Bitcoin. Whatever it is do, be in Bitcoin and not in dollars and euros. That will be the answer of every and each of those millionaires in Bitcoin. And then all those other people will get affected. And in the end, that we get this huge marketing campaign because of mouth-to-mouth -mouth promotions, because everyone is becoming richer and richer and richer because of Bitcoin, that in the end, the adoption will be massive. It will be a huge moment when more and more people become rich because most of the people, let's be honest, step into this industry to become rich. And the more examples they will see around them of people that became rich, the more they will be interested in stepping into this industry as well. So it's a very positive news item, 1,500 new Bitcoin millionaires every day. And yes, guys, I do understand, so don't comment too early. I do understand that one person can have multiple Bitcoin wallets, like myself. I have multiple Bitcoin wallets that each contain more than a million dollar worth of Bitcoin, for example. More people will have that. So it's not like really exactly 1,500 people becoming a millionaire every day, but at least 1,500 Bitcoin wallets every day are added to the group of $1 million plus Bitcoin wallets. And I know for sure that a lot of my followers will be added to that list as well because you bought my altcoin list, which is already up times seven, eight-ish at the moment, and you all bought Bitcoin again back around that dip at 16,000 US dollar. So you're already like up almost times five from that price. So a lot of you will become millionaires in this bull market when Bitcoin goes to these prices between 120 and 160K. Let's stand, let we go to 200K or 500K like other people are predicting. Then, of course, a shitload of followers will become a millionaire, guys. That was the news for today. 1,500 wallets per day added to the $1 million club of the Bitcoin $1 million wallets. And for this Friday, guys, I don't really have an inspirational quote, but let's talk about something else. Something that maybe will inspire you to do something this weekend. If you want each and every day of the week to feel like Friday or Saturday or Sunday, to feel like the weekend, you should become financially independent. Because most of you are working just to earn money, not because you love the job. If you love the job and you do the job that you love, okay, perfect, keep doing that. If you don't do that, you need to start to do something else to earn more money, to become financially independent, to have every and each day feel like a weekend day. The easiest way to reach that for me was to go all in. And that is also, of course, an option for you. So I want to do a test with you guys for this weekend. If you have like an hour this weekend, try to do this. Take your pen and paper. Start to write down, or maybe use Excel. Start to write down all the things in your house, in your garage, on your attic, in your basement, in your storage rooms, all that stuff that you own, that you don't use, start to make a list of all that stuff. And then add a value to all that stuff. If you have three cars, and you normally only use like one or two, also add that third car to your list, or that second car to your list. If you have five bikes, Maybe you should add four of those bikes to the list and only keep one of those bikes. If you have 70 pairs of very expensive designer shoes, maybe add 50 of those pairs also to the list and just keep it to 20 pairs of the designer shoes. 
if you have a few expensive watches, add a few of these watches also to the list and only keep the one that you love the most, that you really wear. Now, if you have that list with all that value, on the end of the list, you will add your house and the overvalue of your house. And then just look at the total amount that you could make free if you just sell all of that stuff. I'm very curious to hear what the average amount is that you will be able to make free if you sell all the stuff that you don't need because you're not using it. That's why it's on the attic or that's why it's on the storage or that's why it is in the basement or in all those rooms of the house that you don't use or those cars are on your driveway or you need to rent an extra parking lot, all of that stuff. If you sell all of that, what would that bring you? And then you take that number and you multiply it by two. And that would give your minimal return of investment within the next 12 months. If that minimal amount of return of investment is, for example, doubling, means that Bitcoin price will double from now. That means that all the stuff that you sell now, in 12 months' time, you will be able to buy all of that stuff back, plus have the same amount available in capital. The only thing that you need to do is then, 12 months living a free life while traveling, not earning any money. Just believing in Bitcoin. And then after those 12 months, you probably will be able to buy back your old life with 50% of that capital. And at other 50%, you will be able to play this four-year cycle game with. Every time again and again. You will invest that extra profit that you made back at that bear market bottom into Bitcoin. Again, that capital will go times four or five. And again, sell around the top. Again, buy back at that bottom. Two cycles extra, you will be completely financially independent. By just... Selling all that stuff that you're not using at the moment, maybe even taking the overvalue of your house and starting to travel the world for 12 months to enjoy life to the fullest without a salary, without a job, without nothing. Yes, you will spend a little bit, but the outperformance of Bitcoin, of the spending that you will do, will make your capital increase. You will always be able to buy back your old life and you will probably always end up with profit because you are just at the midst of the bull market. And if you don't have time to do it now, then maybe start to make plans for the next bear market. Start to sell all the stuff that you're not using, put it somewhere in stable coins or euros or dollar or gold, whatever it is, and buy a shitload of bitcoins at that bear market bottom in 2026. That is my inspirational path for today. The change that I made, all of us can make. And even if it's a small start, it is a start. If you don't start, you will never see the results. If you try it, you will always be happy. One, you tried it, you will be never able to say, ah, oh, I regret I didn't do it. And two, it will lead to a shitload of more and new experiences in your life. And three, probably next year, we will together be walking the beach or drinking a Bacardi Coke on that beach, guys. That was everything for today. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you did enjoy today's video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What did you think about the video? Uh, and I wish you an amazing weekend, of course. And yes, I will probably do another live AMA on Saturday and maybe even tonight, guys. Thanks for watching. I wish you an amazing Friday. See you tomorrow again. Bam.